It is a majestic scene, even one that you and I could tolerate for a day or two. For most, it means the road less traveled, but not for all. On this day, a simple flip of a switch is a routine feed calling for this herd of cattle and just another day to cowboy up. So I gotta get out in this to let that shoot down so the feed will come in. Approaching 80, what was a full-time job is now more like a part-time gig for Jim Link. This little baby right here is the last one born. But for Jim, it comes with love and affection for his animals, especially under these conditions. They've got hair for cold. They can handle pretty darn cold weather. But when they get wet like this, their hair lays down and their insulation pretty much goes away until they get a chance to get dry. And that ain't gonna happen today, I don't think. With a full coat of hair, cattle can actually survive in temperatures as low as 18 degrees, quite comfortably and naturally. But with the introduction of rain and sleet, it's entirely a different story. You see this little calf coming around here? He's solid ice. Their hair is laying down. If they were dry, their hair would be all fluffy out. And when they get that wet, that hair lays down and then get this cold weather and it freezes. That's as bad as it can get for cattle right there. Although days like this are not ideal, it's about the results at the end of the day. It's one of those deals that if you really enjoy what you're doing, you aren't doing a day's work anyhow. As long as my body will keep up with my mind a little bit, I'm gonna keep doing it because I really enjoy it. In Crowley, I'm Arnold Payne.